All right, my friends. Got a lot of snow. A lot of snow coming down. I've got about two inches so far, and it's just dumping. It was a little treacherous getting up here, but... This is where I had that sighting. That big fella was up in here somewhere. Usually don't start on this side. I usually don't even come over to this side. The river that runs down there, a lot of times we just end up busting a U-turn. But for obvious, re obvious reasons. Slippery. Definitely slippery. Let's get a bigger frame here. So, it would have been up in here somewhere. Uh, can't remember exactly where. I was, uh, on a road going down the mountain that way. I don't know if you could see, but there's like a decline that goes down and out that way. Whoa. Could have been anything, it's high pitched. Get the laser out here. So if anything pops up, I'll point it out. As you, you can see, it works really far, even in the daytime. Save the battery. I should upgrade the batteries to better lithium batteries than what they come with, but they're uh, a little pricey. It's not on the top of top of my uh, to-do list, really. There's a lot of cut wood in here. So you guys said you've seen cameras in this spot uh, up high at about like 12, 15 foot up. So that's pretty much like just above where I look. I either look like real high or I'm looking like up to about somewhere in the, you know, 10, 11 foot is top, top range I'm looking at. I love it when it's, when the weather's like this because the, the river has like this extra surge. It's got so much power. Normally, I probably would have just cut straight down, but being how slick it is, we did the, the old loop de loop. I got on my Walmart boots today. They're, um, Sarah loves these. I don't know why, but they're, um, fairly waterproof up to a certain point. So for for shallow snow like this, they're they're pretty perfect. Keep your feet dry at least. My other boots have better traction, but anyway, 
I'm gonna enjoy this one today, guys. Doesn't look like anyone's been down here. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe today. Yeah, look at that. Private property. Some of these houses on the, the what their backyards are, I'm like so jealous. Peanut butter and jealous. It's beautiful. Look, they got zip lines going. I don't know what they run. I don't know if they look. Oh, maybe they hang on them and there's a tree down going across, which is interesting. Look how much it's surging right there. Might not look like much. I got sucked in there one day. It was last winter. When we first, first moved up here. Probably been up here for a couple months at that point. Looks like the trail goes up that way. I'm gonna try and stay low. Paw prints coming through here without, it looks like without uh, a set of, a set of prints, so human prints. Not really sure what, what we're dealing with. Stream, private property, stream, and both banks. Thank. Okay. Roger that. Not, uh, not pushing the limits here. We came in way back there, and then there's this whole mountain up here that's like basically there, it's it's too rugged to to navigate. But there's no trails on it. Look at this. A little, it's a little bit of a task when you can't see the path underneath when it's all loose rocks like this. <sighs> can't stay long. It's uh. I can't believe the weather kind of, maybe it's just because we're in here, because it was dumping down where I was right before this, and I was only, this mountain's only, it's the same mountain we live on, it's, uh, it's only, this place is only a few minutes away. particular one it like has like three humps to it so it comes up and back down this is a I guess the the middle middle hump I don't know I don't know if it's considered the last one or the middle one. a few people have been down here <coughs> it's 
surprisingly. I don't know if one of you, if you want to be named or not, so I won't name you. But one of you awesome subscribers pulled an amazing timestamp from over here. At the t at the time it was taken, I was walking this way, and as I turned around, it was somewhere around this point or up in here somewhere. But as I turned around, there was a huge Sasquatch, and you can see him. Or her, could have been a her. Um, I get a male vibe, but it's kind of it's, it's weird. Anyway, looks like it could be a female though. Anyway, it like ducked itself like under these branches, perhaps blended itself right in. I'm not sure exactly, but I mean you could see its whole from its like chest down massive massive look at this little subtle thing right here up trail like, I can't imagine a person coming in and bending this bringing in this tree branch bending this and then to hold that down and then there's an X look it's actually a ground X right here I didn't see it I know for a fact they're up in there. Like where we were just talking about, I've seen them up there so many times. When I come here without the camera, and uh, I just walk around. And... My head, uh, my head is in a different type of place. Like it's in a different, When I'm not filming, I'm not worried about filming. So like I'm I'm in a different state of mind. <clears throat> this is roped off. If I can find that photo, I will. The one I'm talking about. It was, uh, you can always go back to the video and find it, honestly, um, if I had to. He's got, he's got a really good memory. A bit better than mine. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing. A lot of new subscribers, like a lot. Just keeps going up and up been doing things a little differently this month Those power lines come through here Looks like a house up there, right? That's the, uh... It's the ranger station. Some fresh tracks in here. This is pretty fresh. These guys do walk, you know, these rangers do walk in here quite often. There was a couple of cars up in the uh, up in the lot, but it's hard to tell how long they've been there. About to get to one of my favorite things ever. Hopefully, we're on the right trail. There's a couple of trails that
come up and through here. Yeah, that water's come up quite a bit. It's amazing. Like in the summer, I walk right through this stuff. It's amazing how time of year can make you like not that I don't appreciate the water but uh, it's beautiful it's amazing I love it I'm always drawn to water but stay away from it summertime like keep going to it putting it on my head you know <laughs> drinking it putting your feet in it whatever Now I kind of want to take that one because nobody's taken it yet. Doesn't look like anyone's been on that one. But we're going to go right here because obviously I'm going to use this for the thumbnail again most likely because it's just amazing. So for those of you who can't see it, this is... Spent a lot of time here trying to understand this thing. See that? It goes like this and goes out. Quite a bunch of stuff that I'm sure we could see that I've talked about previously. Now that it's open in here, you could see out there. I was talking about guys about there's a farm out there. Uh, there's the barn. The big big barn is over there. It's probably a stable. Yeah. Well, there's a horse trailer. Looks like that's a horse trailer. See why you would have a horse trail if you didn't have horses. But I've seen weirder things. <laughs> but to have a bar in a paddock <laughs> looks like a feed station. I'd imagine it was a house at one point. So it looks just like a house. As you can see, there's no, like, everything on this side, it even says private property on this side for those over there. You see it, they really say it over here. It's because it's part of, it's part of all this. This would be a good place to check for prints down in here if I could get to the other side. This side is just contaminated. Like, as far as tomorrow goes, tomorrow morning, wherever I go tomorrow after the fresh snow today, there's going to be about another five to eight inches on top of this. There's, um, wherever I go tomorrow, I'm, I'll be there first. If somebody beat me to it, I'll go somewhere else. I highly doubt anybody will beat me to it. I'm an early riser. Assuming I can get out. Actually, no, I think, no, I can't get out tomorrow morning, so scratch that. I forgot something came up. I'm gonna double back a little bit here, guys. Uh, and 
So actually a couple of teepee structures. We've been on that side, I've showed them to you about this. It looks like there might be one more. <laughs> I just said something with an S and uh, a word with an S and it was like, I heard like I did like a little whistle sound to it. I remember like, a year or two ago, somebody was like, oh, do you mind, um, it's really annoying or whatever, like, when you, <laughs> when you say words with the S or whatever, you, you whistle, can you stop doing that or some shit? I was like, my mind was just blown. First of all, I had no idea. It took me like six months to understand what the hell that even meant. never heard anybody ever complain about it otherwise so I hear it but is it really that serious change the channel we're gonna get up out of here I gotta update you guys on some stuff like Things that I've said I was gonna, I was trying to wait on Sarah to do it because she was part of these encounters. But I found out yesterday she's a little scared to talk about one. It was traumatic, um, it wasn't Sasquatch related. Actually, it's all pretty, it can be traumatic, I guess. Uh, anyway couple things I want to talk about and uh, I've heard people discussing these things and like being that they've happened to me firsthand I feel like I've seen the interest people have in it and uh, being that I've had these things happen to me firsthand I feel like it, I owe it to everybody really to, to talk about it shit happen you know I, I'm pretty sure just like being being one of these woke individuals, if you will, things just happen to us more. Getting off trail. There's a set of paw prints coming through. Could be coyote. Not definitely not on trail. Definitely not. Uh, shit. That one's kind of intriguing. That could just be from something dropping down. It's really hard to say. That's deer, I think. But that ain't. Nah, this is a paw. I mean, could be a could be a domestic that just wandered off from its person. All right, let's find our way out of here, guys. Ooh. Oh shit! See all the snow falling down. Sounded like a rock came flying through. Let me see if I can reenact it. Like, that's exactly what it sounded like. Because it, you hear it like come through the trees. These rocks are in there good. Bigger than what I'd like, but <laughs> sick it out. It's not. 
It's not going to do what I need it to do. I need a very small rock to, to mimic what just happened. I've been having trouble with the block button. Somebody somewhere is having its way with our channel here, guys. And um, apologize. Try to find a way to get to me. Reach out to me. Um, I will try to fix it. Uh, just had to fix it with somebody. I mean, he has my personal phone number. Like, he's been in my house. He's been in the field with me. Like, was, you know what I mean? Like, stupid things occur. So... Thank you for those who, when it happens to you, you're very patient and understanding while we work it out. Yeah, yeah. There's one more thing I wanted to say. Quiet out here. I mean, granted, like a lot of people say, maybe it was like, oh, a branch fell off from the sne snowfall. It could be, but that's not. When I tell you, you can hear, you could have, you can hear how it carried through, like. A lot of you have been coming to me and asking me to, to go out in the field. Absolutely. Absolutely. This isn't a question of like... Uh, some of these channels like... Oh, like you gotta pay them or... Uh, there's all sorts of shit I'm hearing. If you want to go in the woods like I'm doing right now. And you can get here and get to me. And understand that I'm on a limited time frame and like I could probably only set up like a half a day thing let's go absolutely if you want something longer more extensive more planned understandable too we're gonna set that up in the late like before it gets hot before it gets hot and well and before it's uh Early spring, I guess. Late winter, early spring. It's going to probably be at Big Mountain. Bring your own tent type scenario. Um, something to that effect. We'll work it out. I'm going to get you guys one last view. On the way out. This is like really swampy over here. I'm surprised. It's like crazy. I mean, but I really want to get this view. I believe how much water collected up here. There we go. That should be should be opening up. One, two, three. It's a cool, it's a good one right there. Things in threes are always good with this Hasquatch. This one's actually really special here, huh? Because there's one, two, three, and this third one is broken off into three. Oh, there she goes. Look at this view. <laughs> might be the thumbnail too it's hard to say Sarah's been uh, seeing some good spots um, they're not exactly um, trails 
a lot of these places catch my eye too and it's just a matter of finding some ways in and she suggested just maybe finding a some of them, just finding like where the landowner is and just asking, hey, do you mind if I go shoot back there for a little while? It won't affect you or your property, I won't be close, but just want to let you know I'm back there banging around. It's worth a shot. All right, friends. <clears throat> yeah, can't believe the snow stopped for now, at least here. So, I mean, if you look, like, you could actually see it rolling in. If you look at the top of that mountain, you can see it rolling in right over the top of it. It's pretty awesome. Sometimes you can literally see the storm coming. It, like, that's uh, that looks like a small spot. It's not. It's probably, like, a half a mile wide, maybe bigger. But sometimes you see like a wall just come down and you you go just watch it come at you. It's amazing. I've lived a lot of places, but not the mountains like this. A lot of fun for me. Exciting stuff. All right, friends, I'm out. As always, thank you, thank you, thank you. Stay blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.